Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. We're back today, the second part of the Bloody Mary by Jojo Y story on episode. If you haven't already seen it, I'll leave the link to the first one up in the top up here. I, do you know what? It's been a while since I filmed a video. But today we're going to be getting on with the second part and seeing how the story plays out. Now, if you don't remember in the last part, we accidentally summoned Bloody Mary while we were making Bloody Marys and I'm worried because I've now said it twice, so... Let's play episode 2. You guys might be scared, but I'm not. Hell, I'll even be the first to scream in his face. F you. You have some nerve just waltzing back in like... The Bloody Mary reveal. I like her lip colour. I think hers is a bit darker than mine. Hello there, you called. Alright, who summoned me? Was it you? Who was that? Was it you, Jill? What was that? The lights are off, I can't hear you. Ugh, I forgot I'm dealing with humans. They can't turn on a light switch when they're in panic mode. I'll ask you again. Who summoned me? And who are you? And uh, what are you doing in my house? I'm Bloody Mary and I've come to take what's mine. Your soul. Oh, Bloody Mary. Oh, please. Everyone knows that's just a story for kids. Just a kid's story, eh? How's this for a kid's story? What has she done? Oh, okay. Aw, looks like this kid's story is gonna have a sad ending. Oh, well. Should have thought before you spoke. Finally, I have a soul. Jill just died. No, you can't take her. Why not? I'm a ghost. You're just a mere mortal. Why should I be taking orders from you? Uh, she she has kids. Although I so would have wanted to put she's a vegan. You're really gonna take a mother from her child? Fine, you've made your point. Uh, what the hell was that for? Just making sure you'll listen from now on. Do I need to prove myself again? No, 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 we believe you. But why are you here? Why am I here? Why am I here? You've got to be kidding me. Mm, nope. I really don't know why you're here. Well, allow me to explain. You all summoned me. My name was said three times, so here I am. And I don't plan on leaving until one of you comes with me. So who's it gonna be? I think it should be Brandon, and I kind of feel like that's the direction the story's heading in. Do you have to take someone? Yes. I've gone too long without a soul. Don't little kids summon you all the time? Yes. Why don't you just take one of theirs? I won't snatch souls from children. Who do you think I am? Some sort of monster? Well, you aren't doing yourself any favours right now. Look, children don't know any better. I don't even show my face to them when they try and summon me. But what if that child grows up and tries to play it when they're an adult? What would you do then? Well, that's a diff- Yeah, that's a good question. Would you just wait? Killing children is wrong, so that's why I don't do it. Goodness, I never thought I'd have to explain that to grown women. Oh, it's been so long since I've taken a proper soul. If I don't get one soon, I'll fade away into nothing. But you women knew better, so I'm not going to be so forgiving. Before I leave, one of you will be mine. H how are you going to decide who goes? Usually I take whoever summoned me, but it seems like each of you had a part in it. So it's up to you. Up to us? Sure, I mean, I don't really care as long as I get what I need. I'm assuming you women know each other pretty well. So, with that being said, I trust you'll have no problem deciding. Don't try any funny stuff, though. I'm here to take what I need, not work miracles. Do we have to? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Is there anything we can do to, like, not have one of us die? No. Okay. I do skibbly. Excuse me? Jill? Oh, it's not personal, honey. You literally just chose to sacrifice me. Of course it's personal. I try my best to talk her out of it. Listen, Kim, I really didn't want to. You heard her, though. We have to pick someone. Plus, I have a date on Friday with this guy from Tinder. I can't miss it. And I'm looking forward to my life away from Brandon. There's no way I'm leaving without letting him have it. I know, and I want you to. You didn't even hesitate to say my name. You think it was easy for me to choose? It sure looks like it. Are you yelling at me? Yes! They're back and forth arguing right now, and they're getting quite heated. And Erica's just sat in the middle of them. Enough! You too. All right, that's... They just... They can't stop it. Enough! Listen, Bloody Mary, it's obvious we can't decide, but I think I have an idea. Why don't you hang out with us? 
just for a little while. That way you let me stop you right there. I'm a very busy woman. I don't have time to hang out with you. Oh really? You just said you haven't had to snatch a soul in a while. And well, seeing as you won't visit any of the children who constantly try and summon you, I think you'll be fine here for a few hours. Anyway, if you could uh, let me finish, I'll explain my idea. I was gonna suggest you hang out with us and then you can make your own decision on who you should take with you. You know, see who deserves it in a sense. I know we can't decide, but you might be able to because you barely know us. I suppose it's better than nothing. Personally, I don't understand the dilemma, but then again, I don't have friends. But since you're also hesitant and unsure, I suppose I can help you all out. Let's not get too carried away, however. I'm here to observe, not make friends. Do I make myself clear? Yep, perfect. Let's get to it, ladies. I have a decision to make. She just broke the fourth wall. She broke the fourth wall. Needless to say, things were tense from this point on. Each of the girls had so many things to look forward to. None of them wanted to go willingly. As much as they wanted to have fun today, they knew they had to be on their best behaviour. Bloody Mary wasn't making this easy on them, knowing what she wanted from them. Suddenly it was every woman for herself. Bloody Mary wasn't also making things easier by jotting down their every move. What she didn't make note of mentally, she wrote down physically. No one knows where she got that clipboard from. Let's see. Now that I'm looking at it, Jill's blazer is kind of tacky. That's not good. But Erica and Kimberly are both wearing some type of sandal. In my humble opinion, sandals are pretty tacky. Personally, I'm more of a loafer girl myself. I've just noticed her hand is going through the clipboard because she's a ghost. Things aren't looking good for these ladies. Do you really have to stand there and take notes? Oh, don't mind me. I'm not even here right now. You girls go on. Kimberly is very snobby. Does she really have to stand there and take notes? I feel like we can't do anything without her writing something down. I mean, look at us. We're just standing around doing nothing because we know she's watching. Have you got something you want to share, Erica? Or are you hiding something from me that you don't want me to know? Maybe it's something so awful that I'll have no choice but to take you? This isn't looking good for you. For all I know, you could- Enough, Bloody Mary. I can assure you that Erica has nothing to hide. Interrupting a ghost and spreading misinformation? Well, a very toxic trait. Everyone has something they're hiding, Kimberly. For you to assume such a thing speaks a great deal. I better make note of that. I've had it with her. First she turns me into a corpse. Then she has you two worried to even take a breath. Not on my watch. Jill, please don't do something you're gonna regret. I've already lost my old life. You two are all I have. I can't lose you. Don't worry about me. The worst you can do is turn me into a corpse again. Hey, Mary? She slapped her. She just slapped her. She just walked up to Bloody Mary and slapped her in the face. I don't know where that accent came from. I think she's never been slapped in the face before, probably. But if there's one thing you should know about ghosts, it's that you should never slap clipboards out of their hands. So not quite the face then, sadly. There could be serious consequences if you do. Oh no. Such as losing your life, my clipboard. You, you. All right, ladies, I think I know who I'm taking with me. Jill, do you have any final words? Yes, two actually. Loosen up. Excuse me? You heard me. You need to loosen up. You've been standing there for the past hour just writing on your clipboard? Why are you being so serious about everything? In case you forgot, Jill, I'm deciding whose life I should be taking. It's not supposed to be giddy and whimsical. Yeah, yeah, don't get your ghost panties in a twist. Or would stockings make more sense? You are pretty old. What is she trying to do? Okay, okay, never mind. But when was the last time you've ever, you know, like had fun? I don't have fun. Plus, I don't feel the need to. Now, come on, you're coming with me. Oh, come on. Hey, what if you dance with me before I go? You know, one last dance to kiss life goodbye. If you do, I'll go with you without a fight. Do you swear? I swear. Fine, we'll do your little dance and then we'll go. All right. I think you'll like this one. What are those repulsive movements? Oh, it's dancing. Now, come on, you swore you'd do it. But, but how? You just gotta, you know, move. Let your body take control. Okay, I'll try. There you go. Just don't hold back. Okay. That's not like it. This is actually kind of fun. Yes. 
Oh, she's getting down. Look at those hips move. Look at her shoulders go. Wow, Mary, you're pretty good at dancing. You think so? Totally. Oh, this music, I just, I just don't want it to stop. I've never heard so much fun in my whole life. Wow. Uh-oh. That was not fun. But you said, I don't care what I said. What I said was in the past. You made a fool out of me. But you had fun, right? Well, I did. But then I fell and you all... But the point is you still had fun dancing. Why did it change when you fell? Because I fell. I looked like a complete fool and you were all there to watch. You all watched me fall flat on my face. And now I feel like a total idiot. How could this possibly be considered fun? Oh, sweetie, don't worry about that. We all make mistakes at some point. Just because you make a mistake once doesn't mean you're a bad dancer. But Jill. Jill didn't laugh at you. None of us did. Sweetie, I understand it's easy to feel flustered because you stumbled. But look at it this way. No one's perfect the first time around. Jill didn't always have moves. You should have seen her try to get down a few years ago. I thought we agreed never to talk about that. It just shut up and thank me later. The point is, you just have to get up and try again. I wouldn't have told you that you were a good dancer if I didn't mean it. Really? Really? <sighs> What's wrong? I didn't mean to- I think she's crying. No, no, it's not you. It's just- sometimes I just- I feel like- I feel like I'm not good enough. I just can't seem to do anything right. I can't get souls, I can't scare, I just can't do anything. Nobody believes in me, I have no support. And then I get here and you're all so happy and quick to back each other up. You just have this love for each other. I wish I had that. I wish I was loved by someone. I feel so lonely. Oh, Mary. Sweetie, you're not. I know exactly how you feel. Y you do? But you have such a nice house, nice friends, ni nice everything. Yeah, I know. I'm basically living the dream life. Trust me, I've heard that before. Mary, let me tell you something. My husband, can't even call him my husband anymore. I recently found out that Brandon, my ex-husband, was cheating on me with some girl. I was so confused at first. And honestly, I still am. We've never had a big fight. Our marriage was so strong and he seemed happy. But one day I walk in on him kissing some girl and promising her he's gonna leave me. That hurt. For so long I was thinking, why wasn't I good enough? Was there something I could have done better? I was angry, confused, lost. I didn't even think I could put that kind of feeling into words. Every day I wake up so angry, convincing myself that I don't need him. But I would be lying if I said I believed it. How does a man who lied to me for god knows how long wake up every morning and act as if he's done nothing wrong? I know I deserve better, but I can't help but wonder what I did wrong. I mean, I must have done something, right? And every time he leaves, it just eats me up. I can't help but wonder what he's doing with that other girl. Is he laughing with her like he laughed with me? Is he kissing her like he used to kiss me? Is he making promises like he used to make me? I just feel like I'm not good enough either. We were happy, we got along. We were perfect. Why would he run away from something good? It just makes me feel so lonely and worthless knowing he chose someone else. I'm so lucky to have Jill and Erica. But even they can't fix what Brandon did. He took my dream and he shattered it beyond repair. I don't think anyone can fix that. Oh, Kimberly, I'm so sorry. I can't even begin to imagine how you feel. I know our struggles aren't the same, but you know what? I've made my decision. Please say Brandon. <gasps> I was so not used to these cliffhangers, man. Okay. Well, that's the end of that. To be continued. So what did you think of that episode? I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. Oh my goodness. Okay, so in the next part, we're going to find out what Bloody Mary's decision is. I think she's going to take Brandon. I called it from like the first episode, but let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you're enjoying the episode. If you are worried, because I saw some comments in the last part, Love Island is returning. I just want to get some Halloween content in before we move on. I will be returning with Love Island soon, so please be patient. And I just appreciate all of you in the meantime. Announcement video coming soon. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you click that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.